dear students, uh, in this unit, we will study about the structural adaptations of prokaryotes. As you know that prokaryotes are the simplest life form which has adapted, uh, which has inhabited this earth. Uh, during the course of four billion years, they have adapted to almost every ecosystem which this earth could give them. For example, there are many places which have a very harsh environment. These prokaryotes, they have successfully inhabited those environment as well. If we take the example of extremophiles, extremophiles are actually the prokaryotes which have successfully inhabited the extreme environments. It could be extreme acidic, it could be a place with high heat, it could be extreme saltish place. So all those places where other life form cannot survive, they have successfully adapted to that. The examples are thermophiles. Thermophiles are the bacteria which live at a place where temperature even could rise up to 100 degrees centigrade. They have successfully inhabited those places and they are thriving those ecosystems. Uh, when we talk about the uh, extreme thermophiles, extreme thermophiles are those prokaryotes which have successfully inhabited the ocean place near the thermal vents. Thermal vents, as you are aware that thermal vents are the places deep down the ocean where lava meets with the water and the temperature could even rise to 120 degrees centigrade. And uh, he, we are able to successfully isolate extreme thermophile from that environment. Uh, those bacteria, those prokaryotes can live into up to 121 degrees centigrade. In fact, there is one strain of uh, prokaryotes which are named after this high temperature of 121 degrees centigrade temperature, and that strain is also called 121, uh, strain number 121. So, whether the environment is acidic, whether the environment is saltish, or whether it's a very cold environment just like the Antarctica, these prokaryotes have successfully able themselves to stay in those places and inhabit them successfully. Uh, in this picture, you can see this is the picture of uh, uh, United States of America. There's a very famous uh, uh, park over there. Uh, it's called the Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park has uh, many uh, vents just like this one. They have thermal vents. They are actually the places where uh, uh, the water is near boiling temperature. There is a lot of uh, acidity due to the, due to the uh, leaching of different minerals in that. And scientists have successfully been able to isolate these prokaryotes even from these highly acidic environment. Uh, when we talk about the Antarctica, it's probably one of the coldest place on this planet Earth, and we are able to successfully isolate some of the prokaryotes which are surviving in that harsh cold environment as well. Now, how they have survived this harsh environment? It's because of uh, structural adaptations. Like there, there are many uh, structural adaptations, including uh, the appendages, which are actually the outgrowth of uh, their uh, body, and uh, they help them to perform different functions. For example, they help them to move around, they help them, them to transfer the DNA from one organism to the other organism of prokaryotes. There are some other thin filaments, uh, including fimbriae. They are called uh, fimbriae because they are help in the adhesion of bacteria to certain structural places. Uh, longer than fibrii are some appendages which are called pili. They also have different roles. They help in the transfer of DNA from one organism to the other prokaryotic organisms, or they could help them to attach to different surfaces and inhabit that places. These are the different structures of different bacteria. You can see they have different appendages. For example, this Vibrio bacteria has a flagella, and these flagella 
it could be one or more than one flagella and they help them to move in the aquatic environment and they help them to survive best according to that environment. Now these different uh, shapes of bacteria it could be you can see it could be round bacteria we call them coccus or cocci the plural is cocci it could be rod shaped you can see rod shaped could be it could be a single one or it could live in chains and then we have spiral shape as well there are some bacteria which are of spiral shape so these structural adaptations have helped them best very uh, best survive in the different ecosystems which uh, are present on this planet earth